Look what came in. Hey guys, we actually just got something in that both Ashley and I have been super excited about. Um, we got our bat house. Um, we've been doing a lot of research on bats and the benefits they bring to the garden, the farm, and things like that, especially with insect management. Yeah, so bats actually can eat uh, several thousand insects a night, and a lot of them are insects that are passed to the garden. So we actually were researching and we also found that bats can eat wax moths, which is a pest for our beehives. And although a lot, depending on where you find your research, a lot of scientists are saying that the bats and wax moths are constantly evolving to one up each other. So even though wax moths right now can hear better than bats, we still think that just having bats around our property would be beneficial and kind of deter wax moths. Yeah. Um, so we've been actually researching a ton of bat houses to try and find the perfect house to go on our farm. And we actually reached out to this company, uh, Bat b and And let's open it up and you'll see exactly why we wanted their bat house. As you can see, this house is gorgeous. <laughs> this is probably one of the best looking bat houses that we found that they say that the best place to put a bat house is on the side of a house. And one of the uh, big key points of the bat houses we were looking at was aesthetics because it is going on our house and we wanted to make sure that it looked nice. Um, and not only that, it lasted a very long time. And this, this bad house and all these bad houses that they sell do look very nice. Um, and it's made of cedar, which means it's gonna last a long time. Yeah, red cedar. Um, this is actually also one of the bigger houses that I was able to find. Um, it can hold up to 100 bats and you wanna have enough space in a bat house so they can mate and all of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the other nice thing about this one is that um, being made of red cedar, it uses mainly um, joinery. It only has four screws. Everything else is held together by joinery. So it's going to last a very long time. You don't have to worry about screw joints giving out or anything like that. Um, and if you want to show the side. Um, so on the side of this bat house, there are vent holes. So you want to put this in a south side, somewhere where it's going to get a lot of light um, because in the winter they do hibernate in here and what will happen is if they get too hot they'll move downwards and chill out by the ventilation holes. Um, but yeah, we went, we decided we wanted this one in particular because it held a lot of bats. We didn't want to place like a hundred different bat houses around our property when we could really just get a big one, put it up, and have the same amount of bats. Um, um, it comes with this really nice um, mounting bracket. Uh, it's angled, so all we have to do is just screw this to wherever we want to have the bat house, and it just slides right on. Uh, so it should be a fairly simple, straightforward process. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the main 
things we're gonna have to deal with is our house is mainly vinyl siding. So I will be going up into the attic to find the stud points uh, to make sure this is a very secure fit. Um, and for those nights when we get a ton of wind, which are more often than not around here, they do have a bracket on the bottom to prevent lifting, um, to prevent lifting if wind gets behind it. So we do know it's gonna be very secure. Um, I'm really excited. This, this bad house looks way better than I thought it was going to. Yeah, um, so also, it's recommended that you paint your bat house depending in your region so in our region we should go with a light to medium dark color so I'm not sure we might try and find like a medium red to match the house Maybe yeah, we're still looking at a different colors um, but yeah we're probably gonna paint this section um, because it would conduct or what's the word absorb Absorb more heat. Thermal regulate better. Thermal regulate. But you can also put put this on a side of a barn. You can put it on like. A There's not many pole. places you can't put it. Um, they say it, you don't want to put it in trees though. Yeah, the main spot you don't want to put it is in a tree. Um, I even considered getting like a uh, like a 15, 20 foot pole and just burying it a few feet in the ground and just putting it on top of that. Um, I think the main thing you want to watch out for is underneath they need at least what six feet six to ten feet so when they come out at night they will drop and they can catch the wind and take off and they also need to be far high enough out of the way of predators um i think hawks and owls and stuff owls and which is them. the main reason to keep it out of trees yeah because you don't want them in the branches um I'm so excited about this house. Yeah, this is super cool. We're very, very excited with it. Very happy with how it looks, how it turned out. Um, yeah, so check out, if you guys want to check out Bat B&B, um, I think they have a, still a couple of sales going on. There are Bat houses right now um, from the time that we are making this video. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we are planning on doing updates. Like I'll film Alex putting this in the on the side of the house and we'll try and keep you guys updated when we get bats and then I don't know and the progress we see around the garden I know last year we had a ton of mosquitoes yeah. um, and since bats eat a ton of mosquitoes um, we'll be able to you know notice the benefit right off the bat um, but yeah, we should be getting another video of me mounting it to the house. Hopefully not too long from now. Um, it really I don't, depends on... Yeah, you, I don't know if you can see or not. It's very cold and very wet. We just got, had like a snowstorm yesterday and then it all disappeared today and they're calling for five inches tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it's like every time we try and do a project, it gets snowed or rained out. Um, yeah. It has been not... The weather has not been nice to us. But the next nice day, this will be on the house. So yeah, it'll give us, yeah, it'll give us time to paint it in the meantime. Um, yeah, maybe the color of this door. That's actually a pretty good color. Uh, one of the one of the main reasons we are looking into bats is that it's a very natural way to do the bug control. We really want to avoid doing um, pesticides and things like that, just because. Our plan is to have more of a food garden rather than flowers and things like that. Um, so since we are going to be eating it, we want it to be more or less chemical free. And this is gonna be a phenomenal way to do that. Um, and actually too, uh, bat droppings are actually one of the richest fertilizers. Oh, that's cool. So you could even use the droppings. For your plants. Yeah. Um, I know there's like a lot of myths out there about bats and people are afraid of them, but really if you do the research, you will find that a lot of them can be debunked. Yeah, actually too, if you guys don't know, like the Bat B&B logo is really cool and they sell t-shirts too. Oh yeah, we'll probably be picking up some t-shirts. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they come with, it comes with this pamphlet that has all the information about bats. 
facts, uh, how this is put together, how to mount it, hanging instructions, choosing the right spot. It's really well designed. Um, <laughs> of course you're concerned about the design. I don't think we've mentioned that I do design. Yeah. But yeah, we'll post the uh, contact information for Bat B&B if there's any questions about it. Um, or if you've used bats in the past, please comment below. Um, this is very much a learning process for us, um, but we're very, very excited for um, this part of our homestead. Right now, the um, the bats, I think, are still hibernating, so I think... We do have time. Yeah, this month is actually when they should be coming out of hibernation, um, because they hibernate from September, October, all the way to March. Yeah, as long as we get it up in the next week or two, it'll be okay. Um, but it could take several months to a year until they find it. Um, and I know there's like bat bait that you can use to attract them, but I don't think we're gonna have any problems because I almost got hit in the face with a bat last year on our property, so I know they're here. The animal, not the sporting equipment. <laughs> we really have no doubts that this is gonna work. And it looks great. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This looks so good. Yeah. Maybe I love we'll, this design. Maybe we'll paint a cool design here. Maybe like a Batman bat logo. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <laughs> or, um, I don't know, maybe we can come up with our own logo and put it on here. Oh, that'd be a cool idea. Yeah. I'd have to make that logo sooner than later. <laughs> yep. But yeah, so this is the next big project we're working on. Um, otherwise, I'm still working on building up the garden, which we will keep you posted on, pun intended. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, please let us know what you think. Any questions, anything at all? Check out Bat B&B's website. They have a lot of different um, bat houses you can get and information on each one. Yeah. Um, when we get the barn up, I kind of want to get them in. Yeah, that would be cool. It's like, this way. Yeah, I mean, just by looking at this, like the, the quality is really nice. Yeah, so we've already learned a great deal from this pamphlet and we will be filling you in with another video as we continue getting this thing ready to go up on the house, as well as any bats that take up residence. Um, the first one may or may not get a name. Um, but yeah, we will definitely keep you posted. Uh, thanks guys. Yeah.